Today we are going to discuss the functions of cell membrane. Functions of cell membrane. In the last uh, lecture we discussed um, that uh, every cell is uh, every human cell is surrounded by a membrane which is known as um, cell membrane or uh, plasma membrane. And uh, we, we discussed that most of the uh, most important component of the uh, cell membrane are uh, proteins and uh, carbohydrates. So uh, when we discuss the functions of cell membrane, uh, we should um, take the importance or discuss the importance of both proteins and uh, carbohydrates as well as lipids. So we previously discussed that proteins present in the cell membrane, basically they are of two types. One are the integral proteins which pass through and through the cell membrane and the other are um, peripheral proteins which are intracellular peripheral protein and extracellular peripheral proteins they are present just on outer or inner side of the peripheral proteins and both of the proteins have their own functions similarly carbohydrates are also present on the cell membrane the functions of proteins include integrity of the cell to make it a specific structure and the other uh, functions are uh, providing a channel for example if fluid is going from inside to outside or from outside to inside it uh, proteins provide a channel for uh, transfer of the fluid or any ions similarly proteins may act as carriers for uh, transport of different substances from inside and outside the cell similarly protein acts as antigen for different types of antibodies and are involved in immunity then uh, some protein acts as pump they actively throw some ions out of the cell or bring some ions uh, inside the cell they act uh, as a pump when the concentration is uh, different on both the sides and they are actively uh, pumping the ions against the flow for example if the concentration is higher on this side and it is low on this side to throw the ions from the low toward the high the protein acts as a pump over here and they throw it like here so the proteins also act like uh, as receptors for different hormones or drugs Similarly, they, uh, they uh, act as enzymes and they enhance the speed of different chemical reactions which are uh, going on in the cells. Similarly, proteins provide a medium for adhesions through which different types of proteins are connected with each other and uh, the different organelles within the cell, the cytoplasm, are present within fixed sites or uh, it provides a skeleton uh, for different organelles. Similarly, the carbohydrates which are present mostly on outside the cell and they are mostly present uh, in combination with the proteins or lipids and they are known as uh, glycolipids or uh, glycolipids or glycoproteins. They mostly provide a negative charge to the cell. Most of the outside of the cell most of the outside of the cell it is uh, negative in, in charge so it is basically provided by the carbohydrates similarly similarly the carbohydrates they function with uh, one another carbohydrates present in the cell membranes of different cells they combine with each other uh, and they provide a uh, anchor uh, like they uh, provide a fixation or of the cell like for example these are two cells carbohydrates which are present on outside the cell membrane all the carbohydrates present on the outside the cell membrane they together constitute a, a substance known as um, glycocalyx this uh, glycocalyx of different cells combine to fix the cell uh, for example when the glycocalyx of this one cell interact with the glycocalyx of this another cell they will uh, provide some fixation to the cell and they will be
present in one side and they will not be moving from one side to the other. Similarly, as we discussed for proteins, some carbohydrates uh, act as a receptor for different types of hormones and uh, drugs etc. Similarly, carbohydrates also help in um, immunity. Now when we have discussed uh, the carbohydrates and um, lipid uh, proteins within the cell membrane, we now discuss the functions, different functions of the uh, cell membrane. This is a cell and inside it is a nucleus and outside the nucleus is cytoplasm. The, nucle the, the nucleus is um, separated from the cytoplasm through a, nucleo a nuclear membrane and the cytoplasm is, is separated from the extracellular fluid through cell membrane or the plasma membrane which we have previously discussed that uh, we, it is made of uh, lipid bilayer two lipids are present in two two layers of lipids are present uh, with, uh, with a different proportion of carbohydrates proteins and cholesterol and uh, they make the uh, cell membrane now what are the functions of uh, functions of this cell membrane so the first function of this cell uh, membrane is to provide protection to the cell it will uh, protect the cell from different types of environmental hazards like uh, uh, if uh, there is uh, dehydration or infection or any uh, sort of uh, stress to the cell the cell membrane will try to conserve the fluid it will try to conserve the ions it will protect the entry of bacteria it will so it will protect the cell, the interior of the cell from different types of hazards, any types of stress, infection, inflammation. Then it will allow selective permeability. It is providing selective permeability. The cell is like a fort or a castle and the cell membrane is like the boundary wall of the castle or the fort and there is there are some gates through which soldiers or some uh, special people can come and everyone cannot enter this fort because the king, the nucleus, is inside. So it is providing sort of a selective permeability for different substances. Not everything at any time can enter the cell. Only cell membrane will decide uh, uh, through the, its channels, carriers, and pumps and receptors that which type of substance will enter the cell at which timing. Then. Cell membrane or plasma membrane helps in the absorption of nutrients. We previously discussed that uh, um, proteins or carbohydrates, they are present within, uh, within the plasma membrane and they help in absorption of the uh, different nutrients from outside to inside. But uh, apart from the uh, proteins, apart from the proteins and carbohydrates, the cell membrane itself may help in absorption of those substances which are lipid soluble and which can pass from outside to inside or from inside to outside through the plasma membrane. So it is also helping in the absorption of some nutrients. Then uh, it helps in excretory functions like if some um, ions or food substance enter the cytoplasm, through the help of mitochondria, energy is uh, extracted from the food substance, food any type of food substance, it may be glucose or amino acid or anything and then the uh, the waste material it is excreted from the cell through the plasma membrane or the cell membrane so not only the cell membrane or plasma membrane is helping through uh, for the absorption of the fluid but it is also helping in uh, excretion of the uh, uh, waste material as well and then plasma membrane is helping in the exchange of gases Different sort of uh, gases like carbon dioxide and uh, oxygen, they may enter directly through the um, plasma membrane. So plasma membrane, uh, plasma membrane or uh, cell membrane is helping uh, in exchange of the gases as well. And then uh, maintenance and shape, maintenance of shape and size of the cell. Another important function of the cell uh, membrane is to provide a specific shape to the cell and uh, some specific uh, size to the cell as well because it is uh, keeping in limit a lot of uh, protein fibers are going like this which are which cannot be seen through ordinary microscope but only can be seen through microfibers are growing uh, 
from plasma membrane toward the nucleus and other organelles. What sort of an organelles? They are kept in position through the uh, micro uh, filaments and this plasma membrane. So uh, it provides a specific uh, shape to the cell. Depending upon the type of organ, for example, heart, lung, kidney, liver, lung, etc. The shape of the cell may vary. It may be like longitudinal, somewhere it may be longitudinal, somewhere it may be circular, uh, and somewhere it may be like epithelioid shape. So uh, the shape, the shape of the cell, the cytoplasm, the plasma membrane, and the, the nucleus all varies depending on the type of organ in which the cells are present. So uh, cells in the muscles, skeletal muscle or cardiac muscle, smooth muscles, they may be different in shape and uh, similarly cells present on the skin and the epithelial surface, they may be different in shape. But the plasma membrane is helping in the shape of the uh, cell membrane. So let's recap what we discussed. Functions of the cell membrane, uh, functions of the cell membrane basically come from through the uh, functions of proteins as well as carbohydrates. Proteins basically helps with integrity of the cell. They provide channel for transfer. They act as carriers, antigens, pumps, receptors for different types of hormones and drugs. And similarly, they may act as enzymes and help in adhesions. Similarly, carbohydrates provide a negative charge. They fix the cell and they act as receptors. Together, they give properties to the cell membrane and cell membrane is able to protect the cell, uh, give some selective permeability, helps in absorption and excretion of some substances, helps in exchange of cases and provides some uh, specific shape and size to the cell. Now, when we have discussed the absorption and excretion of the, uh, uh, of the cell membrane or plasma membrane, let's uh, study what are the different uh, types of ab methods through which a cell, a cell membrane or plasma membrane is absorbing or excreting substances basically there are uh, different uh, different methods through which a cell may absorb or uh, excrete the nutrients or electrolytes or water but the most common are diffusion active transport and endocytosis in diffusion in diffusion uh, a lot of a lot of substances enter the cell just passively without uh, utilization of energy. For example, this is the extracellular uh, fluid. Some substance is present in a uh, greater quantity outside the cell and it is uh, in less quantity inside the cell. So uh, it will pass uh, through the cell membrane it will pass through the cell membrane and will come inside the uh, cell. Similarly, some substances may be present uh, in greater amount inside the cell. Potassium is one substance which is present uh, in abundance inside the cell, while uh, sodium is present in abundance outside the cell. So, for example, in potassium, it may go out from the cell directly through directly and uh, it this is uh, this is just for example uh, the exact mechanism is not like this a lot of uh, a lot of steps are involved this is just for understanding that through diffusion the substances which are present outside or in greater uh, concentration they just passively go without active involvement or in utilization of energy then another method is active transport in active transport, some sort of uh, some sort of uh, transporter in the form of protein or carbohydrate is needed, which will which will actively throw which will actively throw those substances which are present inside or outside in lesser quantity. It will throw it against the gradient. It will throw it against the gradient. If the substance is present in greater amount, then it uh, it is understandable that it will easily come inside because the concentration is low. But if the substance is in present in low concentration inside the cell, and they, it wants the cell wants to get rid of this substance, and it is already present outside in abundance, 
then active energy is needed and some transporter and KDL in the form of proteins, carbohydrates and lipids they are needed to throw the cell out of the uh, throw sorry the ions or any nutrient out of the cell or uh, bring it inside the cell with the help of energy so these are basically two methods one is diffusion and the other is active transport diffusion is without energy and active transport needs energy another very important function of the cell membrane is uh, taking in uh, substances through endocytosis endocytosis is slightly different from diffusion and uh, active transport and uh, basically this is of two types one is pinocytosis and the other is phagocytosis pinocytosis is also known as like uh, cell drinking it is the taking in of the uh, fluid substances and phagocytosis is also known as uh, cell eating like a cell is eating some substances there is a slight difference between uh, both uh, of these uh, two sub uh, um, methods both are uh, types of endocytosis but in pinocytosis pinocytosis uh, it is uh, basically performed by most cells in the human body and uh, through this method large macromolecules like proteins uh, they will go inside the uh, cell the steps involved in pinocytosis the process by which the cells will take these large macromolecules are discussed here in the first step some macromolecules some macro uh, molecules will attach attachment to the receptors like this is the cell membrane and here are a few few receptors that are specific for the protein or specific substance these receptors are present on the cell membrane any any sort of substance protein or any other thing which is going to be absorbed by the cell they will come in contact with the receptor the receptors they are basically concentrated on the plasma membrane or the cell membrane at one specific site which is known as coated pit coated pit below the receptors there are some sort of proteins that are known as clathrin once the is the macromolecule attached to the receptors the clathrin and some other proteins that are known as actin and myosin they will help to engulf engulf the macromolecule this the plasma membrane will go around the molecule and they will bring the molecule along with the receptor the molecule and along with the receptor these actin molecule actin myosin and clathrin these protein will help to engulf or eat or drink the small molecule or fluid to bring it inside the cell once they come inside the cytoplasm they they form some sort of vesicles so macromolecules come they contact the receptors which are concentrated on coated pits and with the help of clathrin actin and myosin which are present below the uh, at the sort at the site of coated pits the uh, molecules are engulfed and uh, vesicles are formed so first of all attachment then the with the action of clathrin actin and myosin then uh, the molecules come inside the membrane outside these vesicle close membrane close inside and from the in uh, outside and the membrane surrounding the macromolecule make a vesicle it this portion this portion of membrane will make a vesicle it will make a vesicle inside which the uh, substances will be present any macromolecule which has been absorbed will be present but you should remember that there is the role of ATP. ATP is basically some substance which provide energy to the cell and calcium. Calcium is basically responsible for contraction of the muscle fibers or the proteins. Basically these are actin and muscle, uh, actin and myosin are present in abundance in muscles. So uh, and their function is uh, contraction but they contract only once calcium is present in abundance so calcium and ATP will help in 
engulf engulfing the macromolecule and then <coughs> closing the membrane so this is pinocytosis this um, this method of uh, taking in the macromolecule is occurring in most of the uh, cells in the human body then another uh, method of taking in the large molecule is phagocytosis phagocytosis is basically practiced in few cells like macrophages inside not all the cells in the human body is um, uh, phagocytosing substances but just few important cells which have specific role in engulfing the bacteria or dead cells or locked tissues dead tissues they are uh, doing the phagocytosis so phagocytosis is practiced by uh, few cells it is performed by few cells and they basically engulf large particles rather than protein molecules and they basically there is a role of opsonization in the uh, process of phagocytosis so what is uh, opsonization and how uh, it helps in absorption of the um, large uh, dead, dead cells or bacteria or viruses or whatever we will discuss it inside the human body there are some antibodies which recognize any type of virus or bacteria and they go and get attached to the bacteria or virus or some dead tissue or dead cells these antibodies when attached to the bacterium or virus or any dead cell they will bring it to the specific cell like macrophages and they will get attached to the receptor which is present on outside the cell or plasma membrane so the antibody is basically forming a bridge between the receptor and the antibody or the dead cell and this process this process of attachment of antibody to the dead cell or the bacteria or the virus this is known as opsonization opsonization with the help of anti antibody basically helps in absorption of large cells dead cells bacteria or virus through cell membrane when the antibody attaches with the receptors the receptor along with the antibody and the specific bacteria or any antigen is taken inside the cell then uh, as we uh, discussed in the uh, pinocytosis the outside uh, membrane they engulf this and uh, they attach the outer membrane uh, then attaches and a vesicle another vesicle is formed inside the uh, cytoplasm once the vesicle is formed inside the cytoplasm a lot of enzymes which uh, are present in the cytoplasm they will come and they will be released within the vesicles and they will digest or kill the bacteria or virus or any substances when or in the case of pinocytosis when a macromolecule is absorbed the different sort of enzymes from lysozyme will come they will digest the food particles or in the case of phagocytosis they will kill the uh, bacteria or virus and the waste material they will go outside the cell with uh, through the post up uh, through a process known as exocytosis so we will uh, recap it again cells cells basically absorb substances through diffusion active transport or endocytosis in diffusion a uh, different sort of ions or substances go inside or outside the cell without the help of any energy in active transport substances go in or go outside the cell with the help of some energy energy is required for the process and in endocytosis large molecules or cells or bacteria or any sort of antigen are taken inside the cell endocytosis is again of two side two types one is pinocytosis which is occurring in most cells of the human body and uh, through pinocytosis large macromolecules like proteins are taken inside energy is extracted from them and the waste material is thrown outside the cell and in phagocytosis 
uh, which is uh, not present uh, this is not performed in uh, by all the cells in the human body some some specific cells they uh, take in large antigens and they uh, to, uh, with the help of anti uh, bodies and they digest it kill the uh, kill them kill the any uh, foreign antigen and then the waste material is thrown outside so that's all about the uh, functions of cell membrane uh, we will summarize it uh, shortly and then we will uh, finish the lecture we previously discussed a cell membrane or plasma membrane is uh, present, um, made of two layer of uh, lipids uh, which is also known as uh, lipid uh, by layer interspread within the uh, lipid by layer are proteins and carbohydrates cholesterol etc protein uh, may be of uh, integral protein or peripheral protein and they may act with the uh, integrity of the cell they may act as pump channels they may provide carriers and they may act as antigens may act as enzymes and help in addition of one cell with the other carbohydrate provide a negative charge they help with fixation of the cells and they act as receptors for different substances then uh, together they give some properties to the cell membrane and with the help of these substances the carbohydrate the proteins and cholesterol the cell membrane is able to protect the uh, cell uh, it allows a selective permeability it helps in absorption of nutrient substances and it helps in excretion of waste material it helps in exchange of gases and it gives some uh, some specific shape and size of the cell and then uh, we have uh, discussed in detail uh, how the cell absorbs and excrete uh, different substances if <clears throat> most of the substances will be absorbed uh, and excreted through diffusion which will not need any in energy or specific uh, mechanism uh, and it may be uh, help uh, it may be with the help of energy which is uh, known as active transport and then a specialized uh, process known as endocytosis which is of two types one is pinocytosis for large macromolecules which is present uh, uh, in most cells of the human body and then phagocytosis which is uh, performed by just few uh, specialized cells in the human body for uh, absorbing and killing large uh, cells dead cells, uh, bacteria or any sort of antigen. Th that's it. Thank you.